Good morning, New 1%. It's Satoshi Bowman coming at you with another video. And guys, please hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate it. It really helps the channel grow. Uh, more and more people are coming to the VeChain family, and I want to be their one-stop shop. I really appreciate it, guys. Thank you to everyone who has wished us well. Uh, I'm doing much better today, feeling okay. Um, and I really appreciate all the support. I love each and every one of you. I got my hot tea and honey locked and loaded, ready to go. Let's get this show started. And looking at the Vito burn, uh, yesterday we burned about 1.8 million, and today we burned about 1.4 million. Very, very slow day on the main net. Uh, I just attributed that to uh, Chinese New Year. Um, but uh, once Chinese New Year is over, we should start seeing more Vito burn and uh, more main net activity. Looking at the price here, guys, uh, today we are up about 8.3% on the day. <laughs> Yesterday was a very, very wild day here, going up and down, up and down. All touch six cents before coming back down and resting at about five, about uh, five and a half cents here. So, yeah, pretty good, guys. Um, <laughs> this has been a crazy year, just looking at the charts. Uh, and again, when in doubt, zoom out and we can see how far we definitely have come and we have come a long way, guys. We've come a long way. Each and every one of you should be proud of yourself, especially the OGs that have held since all the way back here. It wasn't easy. Nobody said it was going to be easy. Anything that is worth having, you know, isn't easy. Anything that is worth having getting anything that is worth pursuing if it's easy then what's the point of it all right so you know we're in a bull run now and uh people are throwing money at altcoins and getting money back so you know we're in that part of the cycle um i'm not changing my strategy i'm literally just stacking v chain and chilling stacking cardano and chilling stacking snx and chilling stacking bitcoin ethereum and uh yeah I'm just excited to see where this bull run is going to take us. Now, according to BitBoy Crypto, I highly recommend you follow his channel. He's got some amazing insights into crypto. He's been doing this for a long time. He says that the bull run will continue until October. Okay, um, I believe that. Uh, I think that it could continue for longer than that just due to the fact of all the quantitative easing and we may get another stimmy stimulus check so if we get another stimulus check if we get more quantitative easing I could definitely definitely see um, the bull run lasting way longer than um, October <clears throat> but then you have to think about something guys with all this QE and all this um quantitative easing and all this stimulus checks and stuff like don't get me wrong you know with all the stimulus coming out guys um you know what's the point of cashing out i mean <laughs> at this point you know wouldn't you want to hold assets that don't depreciate in value and that don't suck up all your buying power i mean you know talk to me a year ago and i was like yeah you know i have profit targets for here here and here but now i'm starting to think why take profits at all okay now there is a chance that you know my portfolio value can come down you know if we had a major correction in the cryptocurrency space but you know i'd still be preserving buying power i mean um at the end of the day you know the dollar has dropped tremendously um, you know, with just all the money supply that's being thrown out there. I mean, you can't even buy a house for a reasonable price nowadays unless you're in, you know, <laughs> Podunk, Iowa or any or somewhere like that. I don't even think you could buy a decent house in Iowa for a hundred K, you know, if you want a little shack. <laughs> like, you know, so housing prices, asset prices have gone through the roof. And, um, you know, cashing out in the fiat, something that depreciates by the day, 
Um, I don't know. That's just something that you're going to have to uh, something you're going to have to determine with your financial advisor or your money manager or something like that. Um, me, I'm just going to wait and see, take the wait and see approach. And, uh, you know, if I can cash out, I'm not cashing out to buy a Lambo or something dumb like that. Like, yeah, you want to get broke real quick? Go for it. I'm going to go out and try to find some cheap assets that I could buy and hold on to something like a whole value, um, not, you know, the U S dollar. So, uh, think about it. Um, and, uh, yeah. Moving on. All right, guys. So we have Reddit here. Um, let's take a look. Shout out to uh, Sam Banster uh, for posting this on Reddit. Looks like we have some VChain dev community uh, Telegram messages here. And they're talking about VChain and Uniswap 2.0. So they're, what it says here, let's just read it. Yep, that's what we've been thinking of. Previously, we were not confident to announce it because porting the Uniswap version 2 is hard. So if you didn't know, VChain is trying to make a big push into decentralized finance by uh, the Proof of Authority 2.0 upgrade. And they're going to be porting Uniswap on over to VChain. There's going to be a V... VET, so a virtual VET or a wrapped VET or something like that. Um, but now we have done the contracts part, and Kenneth have partially get the Uni interface working on Connex Two. It is on a good, correct, and right path. <clears throat> this time we have VVET. This is a wrapped V chain on. This is a wrapped VET token on the V chain Thor network. We have a Dex. So we're going to be, I think they're going to be integrating Uniswap V2 into VEX Exchange 2, version 2.0. So we took a look yesterday at VEX Exchange 1.0. It's kind of basic, kind of, you know, it, good work by the person that, that did that. Thank you, whoever created that. Uh, but they're going to be upgrading it, hopefully with better, you know, looks better, more tokens, this, that, and the third. And we've already... Uh, some already located initial fundings from liquidity providers. So hopefully we can start getting some yield farming on VeChain. Bruh, if there's yield far farming on VeChain, I will do video after video after video on that. Because yield farming is literally the easiest money I ever made in my life. It's crazy. I love it. Well, we're going to push forward a new open source tools. It interfaces to VEX Exchange. Yay. More liquidity uh, funding for initial liquidity, tokenomics design and discussion, and a bridge to port some Ethereum assets uh, to VeChain via cross-chain tech. I was going to ask devs if there was a way we could get kind of like what Cardano's doing right now with their K Ethereum virtual machine. If we could port an Ethereum, Ethereum virtual machine on over to the VeChain Thor blockchain, that would be amazing. Right now, guys, we're, we're so in our infancy of crypto. Like, it's not even funny. Like, you know, <laughs> you guys might have thought you were too late to the party. All the noobs that are watching this video right now, you guys thought you were probably too late to crypto. Guys, a couple years ago, I thought I was too late to crypto. So you're not too late. We're still in our very, very infancy, guys. We don't even have cross-chain operability yet. Blockchains can't even talk to each other just yet. We're still early, okay? Yeah, there's mass FOMO, but, you know, FOMO cycles come and go. After we have a dip or the prices don't move for a couple of months, those FOMO guys and those Moon Lambo guys are going to go away into oblivion, okay? The people that want to build, the people that want to grow, the people that want to actually change the world are going to stay. And the people that FOMO out, you know, they're going to be looking for their next shiny object. All right. Stay the course. We got this. We're still early. If you're new, welcome to the V fam. Let's get it.
Alrighty, so <clears throat> looks like Puff Bar will be um, uh, releasing new products next week. This is awesome, guys. They're starting on Monday. They're going to be releasing their new line of Puff Bar uh, vaporizers. Track the trace of the v trade Thor blockchain, guys. I don't have to tell you how huge this is. I don't have to tell you, so I'm not going to tell you. You can use your brain and figure it out yourself, guys. We already had, uh, we did a story yesterday about somebody already getting their Puff Bar, tracking it on the VeChain blockchain, and it worked. Great stuff, guys. This is going to be a game changer. I'm super excited. All hail the great Eisenreich. Please go ahead and follow this man on Twitter, please. We have some food gates information here. In a recent meeting, the Chinese Minister of Agriculture proposed that China and France step up their cooperation for greater progress in rural ec economies and agricultural trade. Good news for our V-Chain partner, Food Gates. Yes, guys, China is doing a Belt and Road Initiative, guys. This is the largest infrastructure project known to man, guys. They are going to, like, literally, if this... If this goes to work, if it goes to plan the way that the Chinese want it to, I think they're going to be the number one superpower. And I know people are going to be mad at me talking about, oh, you know, you you can't talk about China like that. They're America's always going to be number one, blah, blah, blah. Nah, dog. China is literally spending trillions of dollars on AI, blockchain, um, data storage. Belt and Road Initiatives, where they're literally connecting China to all of Europe, guys. They're connecting China to all of Europe. This is just one of the many, many initiatives that they're doing. They're building railways, high rate, highways, pipelines. They're spending trillions of dollars on this infrastructure project. And, you know, they're going to be the superpower if... America doesn't, you know, tighten up and get on board, okay? We need we need uh, less regulation. We need clear regulation. We need to change the tax laws in crypto. And we need to actually invest in our infrastructure instead of investing into the military-industrial complex. It's our priorities in America are screwed up. We have a D rating infrastructure. We have a D rating in our infrastructure grade. Throughout the world, guys, this is unacceptable in the most wealthiest country in the world. We need to tighten up and, you know, hopefully, you know, after Biden and Harris go away, we could get, you know, somebody who's a bit younger in in there. Somebody who who understands where the world is going. You know, I'm a bit too young to run for president, but, you know, maybe in eight years, holla at your boy, I'll run. <laughs> I'll tighten things up around here. Uh, but, uh, yeah, we need new ideas. We need forward-thinking people. And lastly, guys, we have major news here. VeChain mainnet just passed. 101th millionth clause in transactions, guys. So this is a milestone. Shout out to VeChain Thor Blockchain. A lot of people said we were going to be done. A lot of people said that VeChain was an S coin, scam coin, China coin, blah, blah, blah. FUD, FUD, FUD. We're not listening to FUD, guys. We're kicking FUD in the teeth. We're just going to continue to move forward. At least that's what I'm going to do. I am not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. I... Me, what I am going to do with my money is continue to stack VCHA to chill, continue to stack digital assets to chill, not only for this bull run. I'm never going to stop collecting digital assets and chilling. I'm going to be collecting digital assets and chilling for the rest of my natural life. I'm going to bank on that. I'm going to be that one guy, <laughs> you know, <laughs> interviewing in 30 years. I'm going to be sitting there on CNBC or whatever, and I'm going to be telling little kids, oh, yes, you know, I've invested in Bitcoin for 35 years, and, you know, all you got to do is just hodl. You know what I mean? I'm going to be that Warren Buffett guy, but instead of for, you know, <laughs> real estate and whatever Berkshire Hathaway does, it's going to be for Bitcoin, uh, VeChain, digital assets. I see myself 
I see that in the future, okay? All you got to do is stay the course. Me retweeted, believe it or not, we just passed the 101st millionth clause on the VeChain mainnet. You know, really proving all the FUD wrong. All of it, you know? And uh, that's what I love doing. I love proving FUD wrong. I love kicking it in the teeth. You can't tell me nothing, man. At the end of the day, the the uh, the onus is on you, the individual, <laughs> to get to where you need to go. I'd like to thank our wonderful Patreon subscribers, AJ, Brick Alec House, Mac Harris, Sergio, Lassie Nielsen, The Fern Line, Jeffrey, Ethan, AmericanHoveRemedies.com, Maryland for Crypto, Boost Wayne, Farooz Den, Brady Adams, Joe Jimenez, Kyle Bachi, CryptoSVET.SI, Eric Parr, at Dick the Voice, For the People, HPDSouthBay.com, Daniel Aid, and Crypto Chemtrails. Thank you so much for your wonderful Patreon support, guys. You know, we're just uh, picking our lunch pail up. Each and every day and doing the hard work, doing the dirty work, doing the unsexy work. That's what it's about. All right. Stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. How about that? Uh oh. We have 1177 days to the next Bitcoin block having. And everything those people said was right, bro. Like, oh my God. It's so weird. Like, <clears throat> When I first got into crypto a couple years ago, I was like, oh, having? What is that? Like, is it real? Like, <laughs> are these people really, like, legit saying that Bitcoin could get to 50K, 60K? I was like, eh, it could happen. I, I had a little bit of a belief. But then after the having, things just started happening. And then, like, something in my brain clicked, and I was like, oh, crap. What have I gotten myself into? Like, this stuff is serious business, guys. Cryptocurrency and digital assets are serious business. All right? They ain't going nowhere. And I'm excited to be a part of the ride. I just spilled coffee all over myself. I have tea and coffee today. I spilled coffee all over myself. Dog on it. <laughs> the show must go on. Let's take a look at the major pumps. Dash is up by 60% today. The, oh my god, Zilliqa 30, Zcash, Icon, a lot of a lot of coins are up. Ethereum Classic is still pumping for some reason. I don't know why it just doesn't die, but hey, it is what it is. VJ is up by 7%. Eh, yesterday was a bit better, but <laughs> Any pumps, not re any dumps, not really too many dumps, just a couple coins that are down. Alrighty, guys, I love you so much. Thank you, and I will talk to you tomorrow. Don't let your memes be dreams, baby. Goodbye.